one and all gamers welcome back to brawl stars reddit and yes players are upset about kenji what i never saw that one coming we have two or three different sections in this video we're gonna go through the negative stuff about the update and kenji then we're gonna go through the positive stuff about kenji and the update and finally we are gonna go through some cool ideas cool art shout some people out and since i may not have uno for much longer i must include uno in my content here he is look at this little guy He's an amazing cat. I've already told the whole story about what's going on with him, but long story short, the cat drama situation is insane. Another new brawler, another terrible mastery title. This was the very first post I saw upon opening the subreddit. You know how terrible of an impression that is, bro? <laughs> I, for one, don't think it's that bad. I don't really know what else they could do. Let's read the comments. Let's see some ideas. We definitely have a copy pasta. <laughs> That's, I was not expecting that. Is anybody actually going to suggest anything? Okay, we have mastered the blade, which personally, I would take samurai over that a hundred times. It's just copy pasta. Sushi master's okay, or shinobi chef, that's also okay, but they're still also so really specific unpopular opinion i like the title the only two characters that have a scar yet they put it in the same place it is humor and memes though so you can only take that so seriously if the humor and memes was not there then this would be such a huge nitpick having to buy kenji and the resources to upgrade him separately is crazy i have been seeing some people say this on twitter as well in the previous offers you would get the brawler and then you would also get gold or some other type of resource with them but from what i know with the kenji offer which i bought you only get 10,000 bling which doesn't really make sense because you also get his skin therefore the bling isn't going towards kenji at all whereas before you would get coins or something else with him which you could instantly put directly into kenji and this offer is even more expensive than the average one because he's legendary but you don't even get any way to level him up if you're already at zero coins which sucks so hopefully in the future they will learn from this and uh, do something different or what i would personally like is if it just automatically levels him up to like at least level i don't know seven to like nine maybe some people wanted to max him out immediately which i think would also be worth the price because 25 dollars for one character in a game like this is overpriced because there are over 80 characters in the game but they know that people are going to buy it because they won't have it for a week if they don't and the final kenji related thing i want to talk about today boys is the no skill copy pasta I don't know. Anytime a brawler is good in this game, they are automatically no skill. Anytime a brawler is bad, they are high skill, which sure, it overall takes less skill to play a brawler who is good. But those two words are haunting me at this point because anytime a brawler gets like a buff, even if the brawler's been bad for seven years, they suddenly become a no skill brawler that if you play, you are cringe. This is one thing we can never escape in this uh, new section of the community. This is a newer thing that has come up. Like, for example, more since the dawn of time has been the highest skill character in the entire game and then he got a hypercharge that made him a good brawler what and suddenly every single human being who talks about mortis says he takes no skill and and playing him makes you a weenie like dude there's no winning a brawler cannot be good <laughs> i'm calling it as soon as kenji gets a few well-deserved nerfs he's gonna be one of the highest skill cap characters in the game but people are gonna continue wanting to say he's not just because he came out broken okay so that's all i really wanted to talk about regarding kenji i could go on a repeat of all of the offers and people complaining about his i don't know his damage or whatever but we don't need to do that but i'm gonna fly through a couple other things that people are joking about or complaining about this one's more of a joke dear supercell please stop making toxic pins down thumb was enough few more memes so anytime this tag is here i'm not gonna take the post too seriously all right i mean these are just like a replacement for down thumb so i don't really see it as that much of a bad thing the clown was maybe a little extreme people love that one including me i don't really care about the red card the hook this cry one the patrick one is just funny though i like that one i didn't know that people even used it my girlfriend doesn't want to join the global coin shortage has about nine max brawlers can't convince her to upgrade more what is she doing with the gold then just absolutely nothing or like waiting for a brawler that she likes if she's waiting for a brawler that she really likes then fair enough i mean do that it reminds me of any game that has consumables because i stack them up so much and i'm always afraid of using them because i don't want to run out of them and that's probably what's going on here you don't want to use it because once you use it you have none and at that point what if you suddenly want to use it on something else you don't have it anymore gg you have to wait until you get more i completely understand this petition to get rid of this map i just want to see what people are saying in the comment section about this because like it says like actually a bad map you know whatever and i agree that the spikes really are unnecessary i think that spikes would be cool put in some maps like maybe showdown maps or something but 
I really don't think that they're very fitting here. It just kind of makes it tedious to play. But this is one of the only maps in the entire game that even has them. And let's see what the comments are saying. I just hate the spikes. Say that again. It's actually a good map. What makes it irritating is the people who keep picking Edgar on this map and thinking they'll be able to do something. This map sucks. It's not even a skill issue. It just objectively sucks. <laughs> skill issue, to be honest, it's fun when you use snipers and you have good aim. Of course, an Angelo main would say that. It's one of the best maps. I mean, hey, you can't fault the Angelo for speaking facts about Angelo. Yeah, I, I think the only problem for me is the spikes. How does this make any sense? Yes, I stole the meme template. I'm a goofy goober. That's that's a good word. Daryl has a custom shield and Gus has none. All right, guys, I checked the comments. They actually fact checked this. His skins do have custom shields just like Daryl, but they have to be high enough rarity. So he just missed that. I'm going to show you right now. And as you can see, Sally Gus has a cool little bubble with the uh, Choco, whatever its name is on it. That is a custom shield right there. And here are our normal round of SpongeBob complaints. We're going to go through these very quickly because I don't really want to give it too much time a day, but people are still complaining about it. So let's, let's just go through it. I've refreshed the shop every time and I have had the opportunity to get the tick skin once, which was at the very start of the event. If I don't get the offer, I'm going to end it. Oh, bro, chill. It's Brawl Stars. That's crazy. Don't do it. <laughs> Is it me or are the prices of the SpongeBob skins getting stupidly higher? I did notice that my first offer was like 7k and every other offer was getting more and more expensive. So that was a little cringe and I don't like that. I think it's because of the other things in them. So if you get lucky, you might get a less expensive offer. But let's be honest, all of us don't actually know how these work because they seemingly are completely random. It is what it is, man. Most sincerely, I hate Hate you, Supercell. That's crazy. <laughs> Patrick, 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 Patrick. Basically, they're only seeing Patrick. To be fair, that's kind of annoying. Help, please. Please help me, please. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a lot of gems taken away from you. That sucks. Do we have any lore here? This happens when you ask for a refund. Brawl passes are worth far more than the price you paid. And uh, basically, if you refund a Brawl Pass, you lose this many gems. We've talked about this multiple times. And somehow it happened three times. The ops said haven't asked for a refund. So I don't know why this is happening. If they're telling the truth, then that means either a crazy bug happened or somebody was like scamming this person by like sending him a Brawl Pass. He did not say that though. But maybe somebody sent it and he like claimed it and then they refunded it and then this happened. I don't know how it happened three times though. That really makes it seem like a glitch because it happened at the same time. You can't buy three brawl passes at the same time. So this definitely could be a glitch. All right, now it is meme season. We're gonna go through a bunch of memes and laugh at them and stuff. The offers are moving farther out of reach. $100! <laughs> Wait, does it keep going? I love this that Spongebob meme templates are like the new norm now because it's the actual Uno, can you chill? <laughs> 13k, no way bro. <laughs> That's not real. Wait, how much was the first one? It, it can go that high? I don't think any of mine have been that expensive. Also, look at the man himself. He's trying to get in the content for as long as possible. Some hypercharge concepts be like, it changes something in the brawler's main attack. My brother in Christ hypercharges only change the super. This is also not true, but it's like 99% true. Look, he's a lap cat now. It's crazy. Basically, the whole lore is that he likes to be alone now. He doesn't like being around other cats, and he's been a lap cat ever since, which makes it really hard to let go of him. But he's going to be with my brother as an only cat, so he'll be fine. Okay, maybe the post actually is true. I was looking at Edgar's hypercharge. So after you use Edgar's super, you gain more reload speed and faster supercharge rate. So yeah, the post is actually correct. This is OJ after spending $30 to unlock Kenji. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't look at memes like this, but I'm going to try it out and see if you guys like watching these with me. I have a feeling that this isn't just going to be an OJ thing. This might just be content creators. What are you doing? Throwing money at the problem. <laughs> money isn't the solution to every problem. It is if you've got enough. He's not wrong. You know how many problems in my life would be fixed if I just had more money? I'd say like 95% of them. <laughs> All right, guys, with everything out of the way, let's talk about the good things in the Brawl Star community recently. The voice actor that voiced Kenji in the new animation also voiced Eren in Attack on Titan, who is my favorite anime character of all time, which is insane because now Kenji is my favorite brawler of all time, and they're just combining two of my favorite things into one. When I watched the animation, I kind of felt like I, something was off, and this was it. The voice acting was so good, and now that I rewatch it, you can really hear the voice. I don't know how I didn't pick up on that at first. Guys, a new peak just dropped. It's just some screenshots from the animation, which guys, if you have not watched this animation, it is peak. Like, it is actually so good. It goes from Studio Ghibli style to 
better than most anime combat wise style like it looks so good it's so clean the choreography is insane it's just a good animation it's probably their best one in my opinion they really nailed the style i don't know who they're hiring but they clearly have a huge budget and guys to end the video off let's give back to the community by showcasing some art turning almost every spongebob character into skins number three from just tarts we have a lot of stuff to look at here first one is king jellyfish cordelius which looks amazing goofy goober poco so okay I was curious. This one is Poco. I just don't think that Brawl Stars will ever stray away from the brawler model this much, but like I kind of wish that they would sometimes. The Flying Dutchman Chuck, like yeah, I also had no idea that that was Chuck, but it still looks really good. It's just very clean art. Seven concept skins for Ash. Seven is crazy, and they actually all look really good. From uh, this Reddit user, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Cloud Samurai Ash. Horror Ash. Pearl Ash. Okay, that is <laughs> Pearl from SpongeBob. I was not expecting that. Plash, which is plushy Ash, I'm assuming. Surge or Ash? I don't know. Pasta. And then Chief Officer Ash. The quality here is so insane. Some of you guys are way too talented. Turning almost every SpongeBob character into skins number five. So I apparently missed a lot of these. This is from Just Tarts again. We have Larry the Lobster as Clancy. We have Pam or Mrs. Puff. The art style here is so good. Okay, this one's so goofy, but this <laughs> is SpongeBob Frank. No, you dummy, it's Spongegar. This is an art style that I would love to master. And then the question, what other collabs do we want to see in Brawl Stars? There's Has Been Hotel, which I have seen this, and it's insane how accurate to the art style of that show this picture is right here. Again, some of you guys are way too talented, and this one's from Nightshade underscore YT on Reddit. I feel like this talent is being wasted. You need to get some, like, insane animation job somewhere. So yeah, go check out all those artists, and that's gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Have a good night.